everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today's video is on my favorite beauty products that are under $5. Now, it's not easy to come by things that are under $5 these days, but I found a few things here and I wanted to share them with you. All right, so let me start with the first item, which is a heated eyelash curler. I was watching a video from Michelle at Makeup MLC and she was using a Dior heated eyelash curler. I asked her about it and she said that she has super long lashes because she uses Latisse and that they're hard to curl and that this thing has been great. So I looked up the Dior one and it was $60. So I thought, oh, well, that's just out of my league. I'm not getting that. Uh, but normally I don't really like the squeezy eyelash curler because I always end up pinching myself or pulling my lashes. And so I just don't curl mine. Mine are not long. They're kind of short and stubby. So I was in Walmart last week and I was looking at brushes and something caught my eye. And guess what it was? It was a heated eyelash curler. Now this is by a brand called Salon Perfect. All right. And this was $4.99. So I couldn't believe it and I thought, well, it probably doesn't even work, but let me take it home and give it a try. So I took it home and after a little bit of fiddling with it to figure out how the batteries go in, because unfortunately it comes with no instructions. Um, I guess you're supposed to know by now that these two little white triangles there mean that that's where you're supposed to open it up and put the batteries in and it just pulls open. It doesn't say which is positive and which is negative, so it takes a little bit of trial and error to figure out um, which way it is and then you have to remember not to pull it from here when you're opening it but to pull it from the cap otherwise you keep pulling this open and the batteries fly out but for five dollars instead of sixty I thought well if the thing actually works because you know looking at the pictures online it looks exactly the same as the sixty dollar model I thought, well let me give the thing a try so anyway once I got the battery in the right way and turned it on let me see if you can see there's a when it's on, you can't even really tell. There's a tiny, tiny light in there that goes on. So let me just see if I can focus on that. And if I turn it on, you can see the light. And then this only takes 15 seconds to heat up, and it really works. I couldn't believe it. So um, let's see, how long have I been talking? It's starting to warm up already. It takes 15 seconds to heat up, and then you just use it um, like this. You just hold your lashes into place and you can use it on your lashes before or after you put on mascara. It's got like a little comby wand with a heat element underneath it and you just run that comby part through your lashes and hold them up and back to form the curl. And I've got to say it actually works and it's actually now that it's been on for more like 20 to 30 seconds it's quite warm. So I thought that was terrific to get something that normally retails for 30 to 60 bucks for five. So I'm putting that on my list of the best uh, products for under $5. Now you can always count on e.l.f. to have great products for under $5. And I've got a few of them here today. These are my favorites. I have so many e.l.f. products and I've done a few e.l.f. hauls in the past. But if you're not familiar with e.l.f., it stands for Eyes, Lips, Face, and it's for sale um, at Target and they also have a website. But their general price point is under $5. So this is one of my all-time e.l.f. favorite products. This is their uh, Mist and Set spray. It's a makeup setting spray. Now this has great ingredients. It's not just alcohol and water, which is terrific. It has aloe, green tea, cucumber, and vitamins A, C, and E. So it's actually pretty good for your skin. And basically all you do with this is that after you put on your makeup, you just do a little misting to set it. And I find that this really helps. It helps with the um, oily breakthrough and it helps the makeup to last a little bit longer. The other great thing that it's for setting your under eye concealer. So if you're one of those people who has the really dark circles and you're looking for a way to use a heavy concealer and then to put powder over it, a great thing to do is to use this e.l.f. blush brush to spritz a little on this and then just to tap it underneath your eye to set your under eye concealer. So it's great for that. This is $3, so that is a great value. The other e.l.f. products that I think are really a great value are their brushes. And I have two. This is the e.l.f. blush brush and this is one of my all-time favorites. This has so many uses and this cost a dollar. And this is the e.l.f. contour brush for eyeshadow 
and this is also a dollar. Now this one is not as much of a favorite as the other one, but this is great for just doing your contouring. So just doing that little bit of darkness at the corner of your eye and then I don't really use this one for blending. I use this one more to place the makeup there and I used it today. But um, this one I really love because I find it is really quite a workhorse. Now I use this one currently for applying my blush. I love this one for doing blush. But as I just showed you, you can also use it for setting powder. I went back and I actually have three of these. so. <laughs> I use them for all kinds of things. It is super soft and it holds up really well. So that is one of my favorites and at only a dollar you cannot beat it. All right, um, staying in the category of brushes, uh, it is hard to find brushes, you know, unless you're buying a set for under five dollars, but there are a couple that Sonia Kashuk has and one of them I bought years ago and it has become my all-time favorite crease brush. Even though I bought, you know, higher-end crease brushes, this one is still my favorite. And this was $4.99 at Target. And I find this is just for me with the hooded and crepey skin. It's very soft, but it's also um, fairly densely packed so that it's a little bit stiff. So it really does a good job at blending, but not getting the makeup all over the place. So something that's too soft, it goes too wide. And something that's too um, narrow and hard, it doesn't blend enough. So this is the perfect brush for me. Now I just picked this other one up the other day. This is a flat eyeshadow brush, which I had been looking for because I wanted to start applying my paint pots with a brush instead of my fingers because a couple weeks ago my nails were way too long. <laughs> I kept denting my paint pot. So I wanted a flat brush and I looked at Sonia Kashuk and sure enough I found this one for $4.99. So this one I just dip into my paint pot and apply creamy eyeshadows or creamy eyeshadow base with this and I've really been loving this one. Okay, so that's that uh, for the brushes. Now, one of my favorite beauty tools, because not only do I like things that cost under $5, but I'm super cheap, and when I get to the end of a bottle of you know, any product, whether it's face lotion or serum or shampoo, I like to get every last bit out of there. And I find that with so many of the products, they're so expensive, and you don't get it all out of the bottom. Well, I saw this, at Walgreens and it's a tiny little spatula and it is called the Every Drop Beauty Spatula and this retails for five dollars. Okay so this is a terrific little item. It's got this little bump here so that when you stick it in you can get all the goo from up underneath the shoulders of the bottle. You can go around the, the edge and the inside. So I find this I get an extra week out of my favorite serums and everything and um, you know boy does that make me happy when the serum costs twenty five dollars an ounce that I'm getting an extra week out of it just by using this little baby. So um, I love this. This is a great product. If you can find it at Walgreens, I've also seen it on Amazon, I believe. For makeup removing, I recently bought a set of uh, towelettes. It's the Simple Oil Balancing Cleansing Wipes. All right, now I originally bought these because when I make videos, I do a lot of swatching on the back of my hand and I end up covered with makeup. So I just wanted something down here in my office that I could wipe my hand with. But I had to take off my makeup down here one day and um, use this on my face, and I really liked it. So I was like, why aren't I using these upstairs? Um, so I brought them upstairs, and now I've been taking off my makeup at night with these, you know, the whole foundation and everything, and a little bit around the eyes. Uh, it takes a little rubbing to get the makeup off of the eyes, so I prefer to use a liquid for that on, you know, like a cotton round, but this for, you know, taking off the foundation and the blush and all the other stuff, these are really great. Where I tend to be a little oily, these are terrific for oil control. They have a nice list of ingredients and these were $4.99, again, at Target. NYX is also a great resource for products under $5. This is the NYX Wonder Pencil. It is a flesh-toned, sort of like an eye pencil or a lip pencil. All right, but this also has so many uses, and this retails for $4.49. You can get it at Ulta. Um, they carry NYX now at Target, so you can get it there. I use this for covering up my blemishes today, and I like a nice, you know, small concealer. Now, this is really nice and creamy. It goes on so nicely. You know, it's not hard. You don't have to rub it hard to get it on your, 
your face so it's really nice for covering over little blemishes. I also lined the outside of my lips today because, um, well, I don't really have a problem with my lipstick running into my fine lines. I know some people do. And so you can line the outside of your lips with this and then, you know, kind of blend it in with a brush and go over it with your makeup and it will help to keep your lipstick inside your lip lines. And the other thing you can use it for is to do your tight lining on your lower waterline. But when you're trying to make your eyes look bigger, sometimes you want to do a lighter color on the inner rim of your lower lashes and your lower eyelid. This comes in, I think it's three or four different shades. So you can get a shade that closest matches your skin tone and you can have, you know, one for summer and one for winter when you're lighter or darker. So I've had this for about a month and I find that I reach for it almost every day. So that is a great little product at a great price. All right. And what else do I have here? Only one makeup item. I really don't find a lot of makeup that is under a $5 price point. A lot of the drugstore stuff is six, seven, and eight dollars. But Wet n Wild has this bronzer. It's the it's its color icon bronzer. This is in color 739 Ticket to Brazil. And this has been my favorite bronzer all summer. I find a lot of the um, bronzers that have a lot of gray in them look really muddy on me and so I like something that with a little more liveliness and you know just a pure tan tone. So this is really a nice color. It's not too orange. It's not too gray. I find it doesn't get muddy and it's a really nice big disc of color. And this retails for $3.99 and you can get this at um, Walgreens, Walmart, CVS, Target. They have it pretty much everywhere. The last item that I have are two beauty blender sponges. This one is from a company called Revive Beauty. And this sponge is $4.99 if you buy it at um, Target and TJ Maxx. They sometimes have these, and that's a nice little sponge. It's very comparable to the Beauty Blender sponge, which I think retails for something like 20 or um, 30 bucks. I'm not sure if you get one or two in the pack, but they're definitely at least two to four times the price of this little guy and does, you know, virtually the same thing. So this one puffs up when you wet it and you use it the same way, pouncing it on your skin. But it just feels great, and it gives you a nice like sheer natural makeup application. You use the pointy end like around in the corners and so it's a great way to put on your liquid foundation. Now this one is from Earth Therapeutics. This is also $4.99 at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Um, and this one is almost as good as this one, but not quite. So when this one puffs up, it's not quite as soft as the other one, but I do like it. As you can see, I've used it. I've used them both. Um, I don't use them interchangeably. When I'm reaching for one, I tend to go for this one over this one. Um, this one feels softer when it's dry. This one feels softer and puffs up more when it's damp. These are both latex free and hypoallergenic, but there was a warning on the bottom of the packaging for this one. I'm not sure about this one that said warning this product or packaging uh, may contain a chemical that is known in the state of California to cause um, cancer and birth defect or may be generally harmful. I looked into it a little bit. I couldn't find anything else about that. I couldn't figure out what the ingredient was, if it was in the product or the packaging because it says product slash packaging. It may be the box that it comes in and not this. But for me, you know, I'm using it to pat makeup on my face. I'm not in my childbearing years. So it doesn't really concern me that that amount of contact is, I don't think I'm going to get cancer from using it. Nevertheless, I still think if you're looking for a beauty blender type sponge, um, these are great options. These have been pretty continually at TJ Maxx and Marshall since I saw them about six months ago. So that's it. That is uh, my my best beauty products for under $5. So I hope you have found this video helpful. And as always, thanks for watching everybody and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.